Hey everybody, welcome back to a brand new episode of Saturday Night Chiller. Chiller. On the show, we take a look at random scary videos online. Today's video was suggested to us by Mega Mega Mega. And now that you know, go to his channel and subscribe. I'm Casey Kasem. What you know about that? Casey Kasem was the original Shaggy. My stomach is growling. Why? I ate. Now, I haven't watched this video yet, and I'm not familiar with the video that this young man is describing, but it has to do with a young lady named Kayla Berg. Uh, apparently, she was in the news uh, in the past. I just never heard of it, or maybe I might have seen it, and I just forgot. So, without further ado, let's check out this video. Featuring a young man by the name of Ross V. Subscribe to his channel. I'm not going to just be showing people's videos and not promote them. It's not right. I mean, if I'm going to be watching someone else's video from somebody else's channel and watching it here on the show, it's only right that I ask everyone to subscribe. It's just common courtesy of YouTubers. Right, YouTubers? And without further ado, let's take a look at this video. All right, everyone, at this time, you can hit pause, grab yourself some snacks and a drink, and let's watch this scary video. The girl who disappeared. <coughs> After time went by, I was searching for her, and nobody cannot find her. Hello? The strange video came out of this man. I brought her back to my place. I know she hates cameras, but I'm going to show you around anyway. Is you ready? <laughs> That looks like some straight acting right there. I don't know. No, Y'all already know this about to get weird. Get your food, dinner. Most importantly, go get your snacks. <laughs> now, Kayla, she was this girl. She loved to have fun. She was good at gymnast. She was just living life for the most part. She would go out to her friends. And with her friends, yeah. she was introduced to her first party. Wow. <laughs> Yeah, friends, 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 and your friends and is the ones going to get you in trouble. This guy named Miguel. Miguel is the guy who throws all the house parties. If you have that one neighborhood friend, he's the one that's going to be like, y'all want to get lit? Y'all want to have a good time? Come to here. If y'all want to jump off roof into a swimming pool, come here. Bring all yeah, your friends. Yeah, it's always... Let's it's, all party. And of course, it's, Kayla will it's go It's always to the parties. cool guy And that, Miguel and Kayla got closer. <laughs> that you got to look out dating. for. The mom did not like this at all. She thought he was taking advantage of her. Of what course. can you do when somebody really likes somebody? Not much. Even if you can do something, they might go out their way to sneak out and still go see that person because uh -huh. that's true. It happens all the time. To make that's a long true. story short, Kayla and her mom moved. They moved to Texas. The mom wanted to start a new life and she agreed to move, even though she really hated leaving all her friends. But when they moved to Texas, things wasn't as smooth and as easily as they thought. The mom couldn't find a job. Kayla loved gymnastics. Yo. She couldn't find a teacher. And the dad's health was getting worse and worse as time went on. Then that's when they decided to go back to where they came from. Let me let y'all know something. I'm going to tell y'all right now. Uh, from experience, if you've ever followed me uh, or ever saw the video of what happened to my fiance and myself when we moved to Atlanta and, you know, thinking that the grass was greener on the other side. I mean, we were going to move there with the best of intentions, uh, you know, to, 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 to try to, uh, you know, start a new life, you know, new surroundings and everything. But, uh, you know, it just did not work out at all. We wound up going back home. There was a fire and everything. We wound up going back home. But uh, it was a good thing that we went back home because she was able to take care of her father all the way up until, you know, his uh, untimely passing. Uh, and uh, I was able to stick around and, and uh, you know, look after my mother. <clears throat> so, yeah, the grass is not always greener on the other side. Kayla then goes out with her friend named Natasha. She told her mom when we be out tonight, she's at the house with her and her brothers. When Natasha goes to work, she tells Natasha that I'm going to go out with a friend later tonight named Kevin. Kayla goes back home Kevin. and Kevin picks her up that following night. Kevin then goes to her house, picks her up, and she leaves out the door. Her dad was in the other room when he heard her leaving the door. He heard her say, Dad, I'm going out, and closes the door. 
And of course, when your family member leaves that door, you never would have thought that this is going to be the last time you ever see them. Wow. When Kayla leaves with Kevin, she was never seen again. Kayla didn't come home the next morning. The dad calls Kevin. What happened? I dropped her off by a friend house. She didn't still come home that following evening. The mom knew that Kayla likes to hop in between her friend's houses during the summer, so she wasn't really worried. But days passed, days passed, and days passed. Nothing. So still, where's mm. Kayla? She would have at least called, right? So then the mom calls one of her friends and said, yeah, Kevin and Kayla, they passed by my workplace and they said they was gonna go smoke and drive around. And of course, this is where, where panic starts to happen for the mom because she knows something's up now. She knows something not right. I'm assuming that the mom didn't think she was gonna run away. So her running away, that's probably not in her head right now. What the hell happened to my daughter? Now here's where it gets <laughs> weird. The mom calls yeah. Kevin. Kevin's answered the phone and he said he dropped her off by Miguel house. You know the guy, Miguel. But then Miguel says, no, I haven't seen her since the last weekend's party. So I don't know where Kayla is at at all. The mom knew that one of the two had to do something of her disappearance. So something was wrong. The mom yeah, calls Kevin, asks her for more information. What was she wearing that night? Any specific details? Kevin said, I couldn't remember. It has been six days now, so she reported her missing to the police. At first, people right. started to assume that maybe this is a runaway, but as time went on, the police then thought, okay, something more sinister is going on. When they yeah. brought Kevin in for questioning, he admitted that he did smoke pot with her, but he did drop her off by Miguel house. He didn't see her go in the house, but he dropped her off there. When he dropped her off there, Miguel house lights were all off. As that, if that, that should have just been an indicator. He still dropped right her off there. there and he left. Hold up, hold up. I don't know about there, but where we from, we not pulling off until you in the house safe. If you don't get in the house safe, I'm not pulling off. That's Word. just how I rock, especially with any females. I do it for the bros. You think I'm not gonna do it for the girls? This is real life I'm talking. So yeah, yeah, don't it, drive away. It's just the right thing to do. But if Miguel haven't seen her, what happened to her? out of the house in the dark but something about kevin's story didn't make sense because mm. that house that he dropped her off at was abandoned everybody well, knew that miguel yo, don't live there yo anymore. hold up hold so up hold why up. We yo you, you look at the look at the house you see that the i don't know if you see my like uh my cursor but you see how this house looks it kind of looks like a like a skull Almost like those death masks that they wear on, like, like, like uh, on the, the the Day of the Dead, like over in Mexico. Was she asked to get dropped off at an abandoned house? It just didn't make sense. Police look at Kevin's call records, and they see that it died around. Time turn back on until the next day then this is the night that she goes missing and that whole night you never turned on your phone it's not like us when our no. phone dies we want it on immediately the cops yeah. then confronted this story kevin's story to miguel but miguel tells the police that we had made no plans me and kayla to meet up at all okay miguel you say that let's search your call history search the call history he had made no contacts with her at all hmm, okay let's search your house Go inside the house, try to look for evidence to see if Kayla was there at all. She wasn't there. All right, what about that abandoned place where Kevin says he dropped her off at? No evidence of her. So it's looking like what Miguel is saying is true. Everything looks true from his side of the story. Now, in a town where somebody become missing or some big drama happened, gossip start to happen, rumors start to happen. Mm. The biggest rumor for her when she started to disappear was that she was pregnant. The father of her child murdered her. I don't know why, but yeah, that was the biggest rumor. So there's a pine by this abandoned house where Kevin said he dropped her off at. They bring the cadaver dog who is really special for and trained for anything that they need to find. This dog is really good for this. To search this pond, they found nothing. And to sniff around the house for the dog, the dog found nothing the police ended up lining 10 cars wow. up for this dog to sniff around and to find something then it caught something which car you think 
it was. Hurry up, comment it down below. I'm gonna say it in five, four, three, two, one. Kevin's. Of course it's Kevin's. Whoa. Kevin was known for giving rides to everybody. Kayla obviously didn't have a car. She didn't even have a cell phone. So she really relied on older people to get her around. I just mm. want to know what happened to her. I don't want her home. It's the only thing I want. I don't want anything else. Oh, man. <laughs> Until this creepy video on YouTube of this man. Look at this video. We got kind of tired of the mall and <laughs> I brought her back to my place. <laughs> and I know I know she hates cameras, Walter, but I'm gonna show you around anyway. Are you ready? <laughs> this looks very fake. This looks really fake. Then goes to his basement, opens the door. Girls, a girl screaming. She's locked up. And you have to realize when people was looking at this video, they didn't automatically expect Kayla. They forgot about her in a way because it's been years. But when certain people seen her, this video in the town saying it's it's Kayla. You thought this was your daughter. I sincerely, honestly thought um, that, that was that, my daughter. That just that looks so the mom very, very is looking at this video. Horror, she's trying to really, you like, know, because it's her daughter. She knows you know, her daughter. Amateur horror she's saying that, video. you know, this is possibly highly my daughter. All right. So now as I'm watching this video, I see this YouTube channel and he gave like a clue in his video when this guy was talking. As you can see, the guy's talking in the video and there's like this purse. They believe that this is Kayla Berg's book bag, purse. Not only that, a lot of people is believing that. Who is this guy and what is he doing with Kayla? And they do investigations and they do investigations in the house, that, everything. And real. it just turned out to be a short horror film story. But they were just uh, actors uh, and yeah, actresses. There you go. Uh -huh. And when people see, seen this and they see? just thought that maybe she could be facing a similar situation like this. So at this time, the police send out a picture of how she would look. Then 12 years passed, the family is still looking for answers. I don't know about y'all, 12 years is a lot. Would I give up? No, it will always still be hope. But damn, that is a long time. Remember the girls that were trapped in that basement for a very, very long time. Three missing women, yeah. gone since they were girls, found alive together a decade later. You need police, fire, or ambulance? I'm the police. Okay, and what's going on there? I've yeah, been I, I remember this. And I've been missing for 10 years, and I'm, I'm here. I'm free now. The mom just want answers. Police, the investigators, yeah, they say they're not that. giving up on this. They want to find the answers and get to the bottom line of I this. I think those if kids were, 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 were she found was by a black man. Alone at an abandoned place, and something bad, extremely bad happened. Wow. So what do y'all think? You think Kayla is still around? Or do you think maybe she might have met her demise? What do you think? Please talk about it in the comments below. Let's discuss it. Once again, I want to thank Mega Mega for suggesting this very, very disturbing video. And also make sure that you subscribe to his channel and also subscribe to Ras V's channel. Now, in the next episode of Saturday Night Chiller, we're going to be taking a look back at a reality show that aired on MTV from 2000 to 2002 called MTV's Fear. I love that series. It was wild. So stay tuned for the next couple of episodes. We're going to watch it together. All right. I'm H.B. Gibson, and this was Saturday Night Chiller. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.